Well, so everyone, this is Brooks for you, and today I have a review that I am super, super excited to show off. This is Lego Bricklink. It's not even, not even Lego logo, it's Bricklink logo. Um, 910031, the general store. This is the set I have been most excited for this year, and I would have had this out sooner if it had all the parts. It was missing a bag, unfortunately, but a Lego sorted it out. They're amazing, and it is built. So as we see just very quickly on the back there, I can't wait to get into this. But uh, the Lego logo is on the top of the box. It is a Lego product, but it's through Bricklink. Now, very quickly, you know, skip this part if you already know about this, but uh, Bricklink Designer Program is similar to Lego Ideas, where you vote on, you know, set that's going to be made, and a max of 30,000 will be made, so I think a minimum of 10,000 have to be ordered for the set to be made. And, you know, 30,000 is the max. So I think there's 25,000, somewhere around there, of this set produced. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Here is the whole set, and uh, it is it is something. It is currently my favorite set of 2024. It might even be my proper favorite. I just kind of have to wait for a couple of things to be revealed. <clears throat> expansion but first we're going to take a look at the figures and the build itself we have this figure who is supposed to be driving that coach over there very simple there's nothing too much you know interesting to see on the figures they're just made of wide release parts just uh you know, no exclusive prints no new anything there are some interesting uses of parts i will say but other than that this figure was meant to have a uh, briefcase. That is one of the pieces I'm still missing from this set. So, yeah. This is the uh, shopkeeper figure. And I love this, I think, Captain Panaka leg piece. It's still around. It looks so good with this torso. It's a combo I've made at the LEGO uh, Build Mini before. And, yeah, there's the last figure. This is the only one I see that has a cool accessory, and that is just that little note right there. Bringing the cart over it has these two horses at the front a tan horse and that uh uh i actually don't know what this color is called it's, i think maybe dark nougat i think might be might be what it's called you can put your uh coach driver right there and if you want to look in the back there are a couple little sacks there's two white ones and a brown one and there's some barrels you can uh, Try to remove this top. Okay, yep. The top does not want to come off. So that is about as good of a look as you're going to get in there. So, yeah, I'm sorry for that, but uh, it just doesn't want to do anything more than that. Now, the general store itself, let's just get these mini figures to the side because ultimately this is not a regular, like I said, this is, it's build focused here. So on the outside... We have the, the sand detailing on top of these uh, dark tan uh, plates. We have these um, awesome plants. Now going around onto here, we have this little stool, a uh, pumpkin, a uh, little bag, a uh, bucket. There's a little broom that's supposed to be kind of propped up right here. But uh, it, you know, obviously has no connection points, so it's not exactly the best little fit. There's this little rocking chair. I love this build. <laughs> then there's a pumpkin in this barrel right here. A uh, baguette in that barrel, some carrots, and an apple. Turning it around, we have this green bush back here. And we see there's a little ladder right here. There's these crates with bottles in them. We have another barrel right here. And... Sorry, just trying to make sure everything's pushed in properly. Uh, here we have this little tree, another green plant, and we have the ever lovely cactus. Little bench over here, another bucket, and also a little wagon wheel. Again, not kept in, so it you know it will absolutely go flying once you move it. I don't know why plates are warping up. There's a little. Uh, Kind of hard to see from this angle, but uh, let's, let's see if I can try to. There's a little food and mining tools sticker you can see up there, and I already felt stuff moving the moment I 
brought this up, but uh, we have the general store up there with Lucky Town. Uh, Lucky Bricks is the handle, the person who designed this. I'm going to have that in the description below, so you go check them out. They have another one of these similar things coming out that's a Wild Western train coming out next year. I think May next year for Clean's Iron Program. Can't wait to fund that. We have a little vulture up there. And let's take a look at the back of the roof. Now, oh gosh. Again, this is definitely a display set rather than place. There are some things that are a little fragile, like all Breaking Design Program sets. We have some barrels up here, another sack, and some hay. We can actually then take this whole thing off, and that exposes the beginning of the interior. So I'm just going to have to pull you up because there's no better way for me to do this. But a uh, double door is coming in. You can see there's some hats and mining equipment stove there are uh su oh there's another brown suitcase over there that hmm, that's good there is the little newspaper then there is the cash register with some money there we see some bottles up there along with some cooking utensils a gun there's a pickaxe over there and some whips up there so yeah it's a very simple interior but absolutely gorgeous. Now, let me just try to put my camera down. Absolutely gorgeous interior. I love this so much. And I almost forgot to mention, there's a rat over here. Let me just get the roof back on. And I'll give my final thoughts on the set. And here it is for final thoughts. Now, I will I have to say, this set is absolutely amazing. Again, favorite set of 2024. There's a couple little criticisms I have and that really just comes down to it not being Lego designed and being a mock. Of course stability issues but again that's you know fine for something like this because again ultimately if you come in just going yeah it's a mass-produced mock which is actually pretty good and I definitely like that but really the criticism comes down to a couple of things that are not stuck in place that I think on if Lego made this there would be clips for them but uh there just aren't clips because these walls are actually brilliantly made uh, and are at a slight angle. So you physically cannot really put a clip unless you took like a one by one uh, with a clip on it. And I think that would absolutely break the immersion of the set. Because this set, I have to say, it really feels alive with the weathering, even with, you know, near the broom. If I can... Uh, I cannot zoom in right now, but uh, near the broom, there is like a little bit of dust next to it. It feels alive. The set feels so alive. I wish it got a full wide release, you know, like a normal Lego set instead of just the... I mean, I don't want to say small release, but it's uh, definitely a less wide release, if you will, that Brooklyn Desire Program offers. But again, I am so, so happy this had a release at all. And Brooklyn Desire Program was a beautiful place for this. Now... Again, I cannot wait for Lucky Bricks' uh, Wild West train to come out. I will be taking a look at that, too. Uh, that should be, I think, May of next year when it crowdfunds. It's probably, you know, December of next year. But, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. I'm so sorry to this guy who just, who just fell down.